humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the previous part, I explored the depths some more after pursuing Master Koga all throughout it. And in the process, I found a fair share of light roots, and because of that, my depths map. Well, it still kind of looks like a mess, but it's coming together. As you can see, I'm finding different light roots. I have a variety of different warping points now, but Master Koga still lingers here in the depths. Right now, he's over here in the northwest, here in what I refer to as the Rito region, but I suppose the more correct term would be to call it the Hebra region because it's near the Hebra mountains. In any case, I'm trying to see what the most convenient method for me to access the Rito region would be because, no, well, actually, hang on a second. He's here. When I got this light route, I suppose I filled in this part of the map, but I'm wondering, because there's a shrine here, that means there has to be a light route here and I'm basically when I went over to the position I'm in now, there we go. Yeah, this will be a fast way to showcase it. There wasn't really a super convenient way for me to get down here. I had to like loop around this way and start over here, but it started near a chasm. And I'm wondering since I don't really see a chasm immediately up here. All right, folks, this is going to seem like a rather abrupt cut, but there wasn't really a more convenient way to do this. Basically, I'm cutting out a lot of footage right now. I spent some time just kind of looking around the map and seeing where a chasm could be. And ultimately, I, I realized that there was a chasm here in Rito Village. That's actually it there. And you'd be able to discover this chasm if you talk to this character here, Ponic. Well, well, if it isn't Link. I haven't seen you since we met at the Hyrule Field Chasm. Oh, that's right. Josha asked me to search the area around Rito Village for a chasm. So if you talk to this character, you learn that there's a chasm here, and I guess you're supposed to use this chasm to actually find Master Koga here. And lo and behold, I found one. See, it's directly below us. I plan to return and report my findings to Josha after I rest a short while longer. If you plan on entering the chasm, I urge you to do so with caution. Well, I do intend to enter this chasm. I need to do so for 100% completion anyway, but this will be perfect for what I need to do in this very part. All right. I don't suppose there's a Korok seed or any other things hiding in here. This could be a rare ore deposit or just a regular one. Yeah, it's too convenient for a rare ore deposit once I know it's here, huh? But I'll take the rock salt and the flint. All right. Anyway, here we go. Discovery. <gasps> Retail Village Chasm! Yeah, baby! All right, and down where the pose go. And boop. All right, drop it on down. Abandoned Hebrew Mine. Would you look at that? I'm already there. If I wasn't so derailed by trying to do a shrine and a shrine quest in the previous part, I probably could have tacked this on in the previous part based on how quickly I got to this location. But in any case, there should be a light route just around here because there's a shrine up above and light routes correspond with where the shrines are on the map. So I'm not going to go directly to the yellow circle. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the light route first. So it should be here. So instead of going to the yellow circle, oh, it's right behind me, folks. Don't you worry. I went ahead and found it already. Just got to follow the pose. No need to throw any bright bloom seeds down. We're just going to get this light route, fill in this part of the map, and then we'll be on our way to fighting Master Koga once again, and hopefully once and for all. So let's go then. You said this would be our final encounter, but for first, 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 we got to do the seek a tag light route. Let's do it. All right, well, now this part of the map is, well, more filled in, but at least this western part of the map is starting to become completely filled in. I do want to take a quick look at the map before I move onward. Yeah, like, let's have a look at this. It's coming along. Almost done getting the whole west coast filled in. Let's see if I compare it to the regular map up here. So once I get, I guess, this light route and this light route, and I guess even this light route, this whole west coast will be filled in. And then I can start filling in the center a little more. Yeah, it's all coming together. All right, now then, before we do more map stuff, shall we press onward with the Koga matter? Because I'm ready for it. 
Actually, am I really ready for it? Let's double check my weapons. This is about to break. I got a bunch of boomerangs. I suppose the boomerangs can make some decent power. The Zora sword could absolutely prove to be useful, as could the soldier's claymore. But I'm better with one-handed weapons. So let's go ahead and get some materials out real quickly and do some fusing. So we'll sort by fuse attack power, and we're not using the diamonds. We're gonna use armor parts or body parts of different beasts that I've slain. So we can do a black bokoblin horn. I'm A-OK -okay with that. And then we'll go ahead and fuse. And then we'll go ahead and get the soldier's claymore ready. And we need something extra powerful for that. So we'll go ahead and use, that's awfully powerful. I guess I could always get more Gleok wings. If I'm gonna use a two-handed weapon, this needs a bunch of power to justify me being a whole lot slower. Okay, so we'll go back to this, my black Boko Reaper made out of a Zora sword, and I'm ready, I'm ready this time for a Master Koga. Right out the gate, I found the new chasm, and I did a light route. I mean, as far as this part's concerned, I mean, there's gonna be some editing involved, but otherwise, I'm already making progress. What do you say we just go ahead and wrap up a main plot point while we're at it too, huh? Let's conclude this side adventure. Oh, I see you're not tinkering with a device, though. Were you really waiting here just for me to combat you? Well, this is me, and I'm ready for combat. All right, Master Koga, bring it on. Mm. I've been waiting for you. It is done. We have enough crystallized charges at last. And now, our gift to the Demon King. Mm. A weapon beyond compare. will be reborn! Today, we'll go down in infamy as the day of our ultimate weapon's resurrection and the day the world faced its end. Behold this feat of engineering! Ooh. Well, that's pretty cool looking. This unstoppable Zonai construct. Can I get its photo from my Hyrule Compendium real quickly? Count your blessings, Link. Your death will prove the Yiga Clan's might. Then I'll go take my rightful place in the darkness below the castle where the Demon King now dwells. Yes, where the end of all things will begin. In the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh, you want to have a caged fight? I'm in now. Come and get me. This time, I'll bury you. <laughs> I love a good challenge. Let's see what you got. Any new photos? Nope, you're still Master Koga at the end of the day. What if I just go straight in and start swinging? It is dealing slight damage to, oh, knocking you into the cage. That's the strat. Well, in that case, what do you say we go ahead and use this? Get some actual power going here. If I start swinging this, what's gonna happen? Nothing, actually, it's not dealing any damage to you. That is a little worries. Oh, because you, you probably got knocked out of the machine. Hang on. Woohoo! Look at that. You did a whole quarter of damage. Well, you know, I just got that heart in the previous part, too. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So far, you've done half a heart's worth. Congrats. Here, what if I just do this real quick? All right, all right, all right. Maybe this isn't the answer. Maybe I got to, like, hit you more directly. Okay. Because hitting you into the cage is definitely the answer. I just wasn't able to hurt you afterward because I guess you fell out of the machine. Like that. Yeah, sorry. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Now I can be swinging around in circles. Woo, look at all that damage, baby. Is this really the best you got, Master Koga? Or is there gonna be a phase two to this fight? I could see that being a possibility. Here you go. What, yeah, what if I get flurry rushes, huh? Am, is that gonna be okay? Because I get the feeling this isn't gonna be everything. But if it is, so be it. I mean, this is my third, no, this is my fourth time fighting you. Well then. Oh yeah, that's some damage, all right. Rinse and repeat. Oh, hang on, are these my arrows? Sure, I'll take them back. I'll do a reshoot. <laughs> All right, and we, oh, hang on, and we shoot again. Actually, you know what I could be doing? Where are the keys eyeballs? This will see to it that they actually lock onto you, right? Here you go, and boop. This is something I probably should have been doing a long time ago. Boom, baby, there we go. I got plenty of keys parts, I may as well use them. Here we go. Boom, 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 yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm hitting the machine a little bit too, just for a good measure. Good damage, okay. Oh, look at that. You got a little cube around you, huh? I respect it, but ain't chance save you. Oh, okay, hang on. 
So what if I do this? What if I do like, boop, oh, I was actually trying to jump over it. Didn't quite work out the way I'd hoped. Hmm. All right, well, how do I break that? I mean, my immediate instinct is to shoot a bomb arrow at you, but it somehow, oh, hang on, wait, oh, hang on. Can I ultra hand these? No, can I recall it? Nope, 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 nope. You know, if this was Age of Calamity or Breath of the Wild, I'd probably be able to use Magnesis on it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Or Stasis even. Here, is there anything I can do with you? No, there is not. I guess I just gotta hit you into the wire, into the cage again. All right. Well, he's jumping back. If you wanna jump back, that's on you. I, however, I'm just gonna go swing it in. There we go. All right, is he down? He's down, okay, so that's all you gotta do is just hit him into the cage. I was using arrows to expedite the process, but whatever. And look at that, all my allies are even getting swings on him. Awesome. All right, almost done. One one or two more swings ought to do it. I'll use it the last of my claymore on you. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Okay, here, I'm gonna hop over here for a second. You swing and you miss, buddy. I swing and I hit. All right, and then I'll finish you off with, you know what, how about just the Master Sword? Why the heck not? All right, here we go. Where you at? There you are. All right, this is the one-handed weapon, so I can just mash the Y button to finish you off. Goodbye, Master Koga. Arr, my beautiful weapon. All my work destroyed. You little twerp! I was this close to destroying the world with the Demon King. You think I'm just going to let this stand? Do you? <laughs> Time to bust out my serious moves! A brand new technique I came up with in the deepest, darkest parts of the darkest depths! It will destroy you! Oh, now we're talking! <laughs> Triple in fear before my unstoppable Koga rockets! This is the end. Now fly! Koga Rocket! That wasn't supposed to happen! How dare you, Link? I'll have my revenge! Oh, two treasure chests. Two this time? Two treasure chests? All right, and the side adventure's complete. Awesome. I don't know if we'll see Master Koga again, but it doesn't seem like it'll be in the depths for a little while. Greetings. I will come to you. Please wait a moment. I mean, I can I can walk over. Okay, if you want to have the game cut to a black screen, that's fine too. Thank you for driving out the trespasser. I watched your battle closely. It is unlikely he will appear in another abandoned mine. His manner of departure attests to that. All right. So I think that's the game's conclusive way of saying, there's no more Koga related stuff here in the depths. I should be able to now wander willy nilly. Mines similar to this one can be found under thriving surface settlements and other places of distinction. Got it, so there probably is one underneath the Goron region and there's probably one near Terrytown too, or Kakariko Village even. There appears to be some connection between the surface and the depths. Very curious. Perhaps you find this equally intriguing. It may be a good idea for you to explore this connection. That's what I've been doing. That's why I filled in the entirety of the Hyrule map and now I'm filling in the depths so I can actually align where the light roots and the shrines would be. There is one other thing before you resume your journey. My associate over there manages Schema Stones. You may want to ask for one. I can do that, but first I would like to open the treasure chests if you do not mind. All right, the side adventure is done. The light route filled in. This walkthrough part, Still going. Huge crystallites charged, obtained. There we go, lots and lots of those, awesome. All right, and what about this one? Ooh, a diamond! Don't mind if I do, those, those, are, those are tricky to come by. I'm gonna hang on to that. I know I'm gonna need that to upgrade pieces of equipment. All right, and what say you? What schema stone could you possibly have available to me? Am I also gonna get one of those rocket hammer things that Master Koga used? Because I'll take one of those. But otherwise, the Schema Stones that I got for visiting the other mines in the previous part were certainly useful to me, and I do intend to use these as I deem necessary. My task here is to manage design for mining equipment. Please hold one moment. I have confirmed that there is a Schema Stone you do not yet have. Allow me to rectify that. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll gladly take that. What do we got? A rocket platform? Just a platform that'll shoot me right up so I don't have to attach rockets to my shield anymore? 
I mean, I suppose that's still an option in case I don't want to use Zonite and I just have a rocket on hand, but all right. Very cool. I will also prepare the parts required to test it via auto build. Yeah, you want me to go up and then drop my way down? I'll test it with auto build. <laughs> that already sounds amusing. Anything with the rockets is kind of fun. All right, well, just right here, huh? And then just, just auto build away. You got it. Oh, hang on. So the rocket platform. All right, yeah, I shouldn't need any zonite for this. Here you go, right there, boom. And where exactly are we going? Just up there? Why? What's up here? Cause this is very detached from the rest of the game. I had to find this anyway. Oh snap. Yeah, I absolutely had to find this. There is no bridge over here. Well, I'm glad I found this chasm then. All right, anyway, shall we go up? Let's go up. All right, and this has a battery on it, so it'll go up for quite a while. Oh, there is a treasure chest up here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just grab this real quickly. What's in this treasure chest then? Some valuable item, I hope, or another diamond even. Let's see, large crystallized charge, so be it. I'll, I'll take it. Just kind of hoping for something a little more grand, but that's fine. It's a nice proof of concept and I'm getting crystallized charges simply for being up here, so that's cool. These platforms are kind of neat. Maybe it's for the better that there is nothing else up here though. At least nothing else of major significance. Okay, and then a grand po. Sure, I'll go ahead and grab that. All right, and then we can do hoppa. Okay, there we go. 758 pose. Isn't that nice? Okay, well, with this part of the map filled in and the Ma Master Koga plot kind of wrapped up, I suppose the next thing to do would be to just fill in more of the map over here. Hmm. All right, I'll tell you what. There has to be another chasm entrance over here somewhere. I mean, I, I guess I could just use this one again. Where else are the depths could, okay, you know what? We're gonna go here. And I know that there's gonna be a shrine over here and there's gonna be depths over here. So what do you say then? We go over to this light route that I obtained a few parts ago and we'll go enable this light route, other light route that's here and I'll find the shrine that's over here and that should make for a decently sufficient part. A part where I already found two or three light routes and then did a major plot point. Yeah, after this, I'm gonna have done my 50th light route. That's awesome, I'm, I'm either going to be halfway done or just shy of halfway done with all the light routes. Very nice. Okay, now I need to make sure I have my proper sense of direction. So, I guess we're gonna just go this way. There's even a chance I might even see the light route from here, maybe not. Okay, but this is the direction I wanna go. There probably is a shrine up top. There was one in Breath of the Wild. It's kind of a remote location if I recall correctly, but let's do the light route first because I imagine the shrine's gonna be a bit trickier to get to. And if it's not, well then, oh well, then I'm doing the harder part first. And normally I try to do the harder part first, but I don't always have access to that option. I think I'm trying to go for the more organized option and since I'm already here in the depths, maybe it makes the most sense to just do this part now. And now, because I do have auto build with me, I can just go ahead and use a rocket platform to go straight up and only for 15 zonite, that's not so bad. All right, ready? Let's go. Let's just go up. All right, I don't mind this. We're gonna go way, way up. All right. And then I guess I'm gonna glide from here, right? Cause I gotta, I gotta be able to keep climbing this. This this goes up. Frankly, I probably should have used the hot air balloon. The rocket platform will, will definitely have its uses. I could use that to grab treasure chests and whatnot when I'm back in the sky and I'm trying to clear out the rest of that map. But for now, I'm just using it to try and get some extra elevation without using up all my stamina. I'm balancing between all my resources, the zonite, the, the batteries, the stamina, the, the gear, oh yeah, right, I do have gear that will allow me to climb things more quickly. I can, I should be wearing that now. In fact, I probably can even try to upgrade this before the part's over, so climbing gear. Here we go, we'll sort by the set, boom. There you go, let's speed this up, huh? That's better, yes, yes, and hopefully when I get to this part, I can actually run or walk for a split second and fill up even more of my stamina so I can rapidly press the X button to get through more of this. All right, so if I let go for a second, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, yeah! Yeah, there we go! We be jumping, expediting this process. Okay, now that I'm here, you know what? I am tempted just to use this again real quickly. There you go, another rocket platform. Oh, whoops, no, I, I, actually, I, I do want that. Rocket platform, right there. Build it right there. All right, there you go, ready? Here we go, boop, going right up. Okay, so at some point, I should be able to go up and over. Very good, I see pose. That means I should be able to stand here, but just in case, I'll go ahead and shoot a giant bright bloom seed right at the ground, right here. Boom, baby, nice and somewhat brighter. Okay, now, 
I had to wager a guess. Oh, yep, that would be where I want to go. So we can get this, which means we can now remove the yellow mark here. Got it. Yep. So this aligns with what I thought. There is a shrine up here that I have not yet conquered, and it is going to share the same location as another shrine in Breath of the Wild. A shrine that was fairly removed and difficult to access, mainly because there were a lot of enemies in the way in Breath of the Wild. So I'm curious if there's going to be a lot of enemies in the way here in Tears of the Kingdom. And if there are, I mean, heck, bring them on. I just finished taking on Master Koga. Nearby up above, my shrine radar is going up? We're going off while I'm down here in the depths? What, am I supposed to access it from the depths? Did I go the right way all along? Well, even so, let's fill in the light route anyway. It'll be good for filling up the map. And then if there is a way for me to get back to the surface from here, I'll totally do it. So this light route is the Yisua Yam light route. Let's do it. All right, look at that map. It's all coming together. All right, now to see how this corresponds with the surface because my shrine radar is going off. But like, you know, there's there's no way for me to actually get up from here. I'm like in the sky with regards to the depth. Look at look at how crazy this this cloudy location looks. Unless I can ascend through like one of these little what do you call this stalactites here. Nah. I don't really know why my shrine radar was going off here, but yeah, okay, I get it. There's a shrine up above. So, in that case then, I suppose the most optimal way for me to access the shrine would be for me to stop by the stable first. Plus, stopping by the stable will allow me to go to the Great Fairy Fountain, and then I can use the Great Fairy Fountain to potentially upgrade my equipment from there. All right, the Great Fairy Fountain turned out to be a little further away than I thought. Going forward, this will not be the Great Fairy Fountain that I use to upgrade my equipment. But let's see if I even can upgrade anything right now, because now seems like a pretty opportune time to do so. All right, there we go. So let's see what we got. I am ready for those upgrades. Or so I like to think. I've gathered a few more monster parts. I've been hanging on to all my gemstones. Let's see what I can do. Here I am at your service. Ah, uh, you've come here again? Okay, let me see your clothes. With the power of power available to me, I can increase your enhance your clothing to the maximum. Mm. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have like any rupees. Okay, probably. All right. All right. All right. So let's let's hang on a second. The main thing I would want would be to upgrade the climbing gear. So, is this only the stuff that you'll let me upgrade? Because I have the whole climbing set. Oh wait. Yeah. By by the set. Okay. So, let's see. Oh yeah. I probably should upgrade this one more time too. So let's do that real quickly because that's going to be the most expensive and it takes 200 rupees. And then after that, I can see just what else I need. So we'll do Tunic of the Depths first. And then I could always go back over to the stable and sell stuff and get more rupees. Frankly, I probably should have done that first. But let, let me just see what I'll need because I could possibly even get the Tunic of the Depths upgraded to the maximum. Right now we're at three stars and that's awesome. Love that. Great. Truly flawless work. Take it and be grateful. Any other clothing items? Yeah, so let's just see what the options are. I know I don't have any rupees for anything. Got it. So a blue white frocks fang, which I don't have any of, and then frocks gut. So I gotta just go fight a bunch more frocks and I gotta hang on to my large zonite from now on. As for these, everything else is just gonna be a matter of rupees. Oh, and I'm out of Lizalfo's horns, boo. Okay, well, and that, oh, I can upgrade the Giga armor. Fascinating. Okay, but in any case, yeah, these can't be upgraded. Uh, that, yeah, that can, okay. All right, so everything else is a matter of rupees. Well, maybe I don't need to do the rest of this right now then. Maybe just having the frocks, get, getting frocks parts will be a sufficient reminder that I have more stuff to do. In any case, I do want to return back to the stable. Is it actually faster if I just warp there at this point? Probably. I'll go there, let me see if I can find Beetle. Let me sell some stuff and actually get some rupees. And you know what? Since I have a little bit of downtime in this part, let me actually do some cooking as well. Like, let me let me just do a whole bunch of cooking and see what I can do. This is not my designated cooking part of my walkthrough, but I will do some cooking. So boom, 108 shrines, 50 light roots found, crushing it. 
We are crushing it, folks. We are moving along. This is only part 78. Awesome. Yep, we are more than halfway done with the game if you exclude Korok Siege, which I'll do all in one part in due time. All right, so where's Beetle? Where's my favorite little traveling salesman? Right in here, staying nice and warm. I respect that. All right, what do we got here? Ah, so good, 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 good to see you, even if it is freezing. These clothes weren't made for the weather, but Beetle goes where the travelers are. Well, then what can I tempt you to buy? Okay, what do you even have? So, ice fruits, butterflies, warm diners. Oh, and the tireless frog. Yeah, so we, I am gonna want a tireless frog, but I need to, I need to sell you some stuff. So let's see, by a fuse attack power, no, oh, well actually by a fuse attack power, how valuable are some of these things? Yeah, so the white main Lionel horn, all the Lionel stuff, is worth a lot. Which is why I should probably hang on to a couple bit. Gleox though, I don't know how much I'm gonna need Gleox stuff, that's just it, right? I guess I could sell one of these if I, if I ever need another one, I'll go get it. Here you go. I can fight another Gleox, like that's not a huge deal. So here, and we'll do, so the Thunder one's worth the most. I got plenty of flame ones, so I could actually sell two of those and probably be okay. All right, so boom, thank you. All right, now we get to the problem with the gemstones because the gemstones are hard to come by and I absolutely need those to upgrade my equipment, but I imagine I have more than enough in some categories. So, hang on, by type? Yeah, that's what we want, by type. So, oh, actually, can I sell you pieces of meat? No, nah, it's, it's probably in my best interest. Well, I don't need that much meat, hang on. Hang on, are you gonna give me eight rupees per? Okay, I'll give you 14. All right, that, that's, that should be sufficient, thank you. All right, but I will cook more of those in due time. Okay, so now what we're gonna want, yeah, not these, hang on, these. So I got plenty of rubies, I like to think. All right, so I can sell four of those. All right, I gotta walk around with, with spare change in my pockets from now on, okay? And then opals, sure, we can sell seven of those. There we go, and that'll put me at over 1,000 rupees. That is more like it, okay? Cool, now let's back out of that. And then let's double check what you have again. I wanted the tireless frogs, yes. So I'm, I'm gonna take them both, I'm gonna take them all. All right, and then I can just hopefully save these additional rupees for another time, great. All right, so we're good for now. All right, and then what is this? This is a pepper, what is that, milk? Pepper, milk, meat, butter, rice? Pepper, milk, meat, butter, rice. Pepper, milk, meat, butter, rice. Pepper, milk. Meat, butter, rice. Where is the cooking pot? There it is. Pepper, milk, meat, butter, rice. Spicy indeed. Okay, so we'll cook the tireless frog afterward. Let me just make sure I have this while I have it on here. Okay, so we need spicy pepper. Pepper, okay, do I still have milk? I might not. Pepper, oh, do I, I don't have any more milk. No! Okay, hang on. Pepper. Okay, well I got the meat, butter, and rice, but no milk, darn it. I got, I gotta, I gotta. Well, what happens if I, if I throw sugar in there instead? What are we gonna get, huh? All right, I'll just, I'll just have to remember that recipe for another day then. Okay, for now I got, whatever. Okay, let's just, let's just cook stuff for optimization then. So I got the tireless frogs. So I gotta hold this and then cook it with monster parts. So sure, we can go ahead and cook this with the boss bacoblin fang, right? That should be all I need. And then that'll yield a stamina boosting elixir. It should be fantastic. There we go. Awesome, I'll even do it one more time. So we'll do boom, boom, there we go. All right, and then I'm just gonna cook like two more items after this. Because I would like to hang on to some of my recipes so I can hopefully be cooking new stuff one day. So boom, okay, and then, Where's my meat? There we go. Yeah, you know, I just need this and some salt, right? So we'll toss that in real quick. And that should give me something that will give me max hearts, no matter where I'm at. Awesome, and plus four, great. Okay, and then we need just like two of those. Awesome, we cook that, that should yield some interesting results. And then I'll cook like one more thing and then I'll finally get a move on and find that shrine, huh? There we go, meat skewer, awesome. Okay, and then let's see. Oh yeah, stamina boost, huh? So what if I cook that with a piece of meat? Right, it'll just give me some veggies that'll boost my stamina, and that's great, we want that. Here we go, boom, yes, 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 okay. And if I do this, and I do increase movement speed, I like that. 
I like the idea of increasing my movement speed. I might just consume that right now as I run over to the shrine. Here we go. Ready? There you go, hasty steamed meat. Okay, well let's eat that right now then because that'll fill up the rest of my... Oh, I could actually just eat that instead. That's even better, okay. Let's go then, let's run! Oh, we're moving. We are moving, okay, hang on. Am I even going the right direction? I suppose that I am. So we're gonna go over to this yellow mark. And we're gonna now make my way over to the shrine that will correspond with the light route that I just got a couple minutes ago. I mean, I could go ahead and like borrow a horse real quickly. I'm not gonna need it for very long, but look at this. I'm as fast as a horse. Okay, I'm not gonna keep this horse. I am just borrowing you. Although it begs the question, where is my horse? What did I, what did I do to it? I don't know. But we're gonna keep moving anyway. Okay, so there, save myself a couple steps. Goodbye horse. Was kind of nice meeting you. I don't know if saying it was a pleasure is the right phrase, but it's kind of nice to meet you. Okay, so down here, these are basically ruins. It goes really far back, but Breath of the Wild has taught me that the entrance to these ruins is going to be all the way up here. Now, there probably are Korok seeds and whatnot along the way, but for now, my main concern is just getting to the front, the Forgotten Temple. Yep, we know that there's a shrine in here because there was a light route underneath it all, and because there was one in Breath of the Wild, and I 100% completed that game. This will be the entrance. If there are Koroxies at the top, and I'm gonna imagine that there's at least one, I'll grab it a different day. For now, we're gonna go inside here, we're gonna remove my yellow marker so I don't get confused, and we're gonna see what obstacles lie ahead. In Breath of the Wild, I was constantly getting bombarded with lasers. Nowadays, it just seems like a place for other smaller enemies to seek refuge. As a result, I don't see an immediate need to strike these enemies. But if they wish to fight against me, that'll be their own demise. Okay, now we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go all the way back because it needs to align with where the light route was. The shrine will be all the way back here. Now, in Breath of the Wild, I'm pretty sure this was a blessing shrine, so the same might be the case here in Tears of the Kingdom because it's a bit removed. Hang on, can I like ascend through this part? What? Hey, hey. Yeah, so I can ascend through that, save myself a little stamina. There we go. All right, right, I'm, I'm already, oh, I saw more of my speed boost. Well, whatever, there we go. We be climbing. All right, we can do boom. Yep, 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 we're going. There's the shrine, just right here, all by its lonesome. Now there's a chance there could be like a chasm entrance in here or something, but when I was down in the depths underneath it all, it didn't really seem like there was a way for there to be a chasm in the first place. I guess I can explore the remainder of this room in just a moment. What do you say we go ahead and do the shrine first so I have access to a warp point and then we'll see what else is in here afterward. All right, now do we think this shrine is a blessing shrine? I think it is, but if it's not, I'll gladly go ahead and solve a puzzle right now. It wasn't too difficult to access. The only reason I think it would be a blessing shrine is because the one in Breath of the Wild, I'm pretty sure was. I could be wrong. Maybe the one in Breath of the Wild wasn't a blessing shrine. It was just, I, I feel like it was though, just because it was, removed. Usually in these games when a shrine is far removed from everything else, it turns out to be a blessing shrine. Oh no, this is not a blessing shrine. All right, then I guess I'm solving a puzzle. What do you got for me? Building blocks. Oh, you think I can't solve a puzzle with a couple building blocks? Let's see what we got. Well, actually, where am I going? Am I just going up and over? I guess I got to press down on something. Ah, you want me to, I guess, fill in this? I can do that. I've been doing this for core seeds over the course of this walkthrough. So, here, I can play with some blocks. Well, it's like a, what is this? A shrine for three-year-olds? I can do this. I can do this. I know how to play with my blocks, okay? I know how to play with my toys. Playing with my Nintendo Switch toy right now. Okay, here. Boom, just like that. Was well, there gonna be like 50 Koroxies at the end of this? <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, this is the Koroxie tutorial, baby. All right, so that was just like the opening room to teach me the basics. I suppose I already have your photo, I do. Which means you must be eliminated. Boom, the power of the Master Sword repels you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, and then anything in here? No, not quite. Well, then we'll keep moving. Let's see, you want me to potentially mess with this. Well, then I'll just chuck that up there. But I want more blocks to play with. Oh ho ho! Okay, hang on. First, we get the treasure chest, which I gotta use by just like, having it like that or something, right? So that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta step on this part here. Link, oh my God, Link. I know how to play with blocks, but Link doesn't know how to step on top of them, apparently. Link, thank you. All right, and then up top, and then up top. All right, 
So is this the only treasure chest in here? Because I could see them hiding another one in here. Large zone I charge. Excellent. All right, let's double check that that's the only one. It is. Awesome. All right. I mean, from here, I just got to go ahead and make these blocks resemble the shape of this item beside it, right? So if I do something like this, maybe push it back slightly. Okay, and then we do move that forward. Right. Ah, oh, aha! Never mind. What I gotta do is I gotta do boop, boop, boop. Okay, so that now goes there. Right, okay. I guess it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, it just has to like be close enough. Oh, these blocks are different shapes. These do have to go in in a specific way. Got it. Well, let's, let's experiment for a second. So this goes here. How does that look? That's looking a little incorrect. Okay. If this goes here, Boom, boom, hey, 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 boom, boom. Okay, so if I do that, that looks a little more correct. Okay, and then if I do, boop, 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 boop. this is kind of like teaching kids how to put their toys away. That's what this shrine is. Right there, and then is this just a square? Where does where is this one gonna go? Okay, I guess this one this doesn't align as well as I thought. Hmm. Okay, hang on, hang on. I, this this would have been easier if they were all the same shape, right? But they're not. And this means this has to go back a very specific way. So if I grab this, do it like this. This isn't, oh, this does slide in here, okay. I do that, but then this is blocked off. Mm. <laughs> okay, hang on a moment. I will get this, don't you worry, folks. Yo, Schiller's got it. Hang on, so. <laughs> I love this. I, I'm, I'm loving this right now. You guys have no idea. Okay, I will get this. Is that more? Hang on. Yeah, because this, this is completely filled in. Hmm. Oh, this is actually proven to be trickier than I had anticipated. But I like it. I like it a lot. There you go. So, let's see for a second. So if I do this, and I drop this over here. Right there. Okay. Here we go, here we go. All right, so that's that's gotta be correct, right? Because that fits in a little too nicely there. It just, it just kind of does. Okay, that means this next part would then, okay, so like, this is the other shape that's kind of a weird one. This is the other one that's kind of messing me up. So if this goes, let's say, yeah, because this is just, right, because otherwise this is filled in. That is filled in otherwise, so what's what's, what's the problem here? Hang on. Let me think. That's it, I got it, right here, boom! Okay, and then we can do boop! Got it! See folks, figured it out. I know how to play with my blocks. This is a shrine for three-year-olds! <laughs> <laughs> Easy peasy, but I liked it. I liked it. It really is a Korok seed like tutorial though. It's funny. It's a nice surprise that there was a puzzle to do in here. It wasn't that difficult to access the shrine in the first place. So nice to do another quick puzzle. Boom, conquering another shrine. Awesome. I don't have enough lights of blessing to cash them in for another heart container, but you know, maybe in the next part, I'll just do three shrines and three light roots or something. Easy peasy. I do want to explore this room that I that the shrine is actually in, see if there's anything worthwhile in here, because in Breath of the Wild, this is where you'd go and get the, like, almost the final outfit of the game, basically. This is where you'd go to get a very specific outfit. And I'm wondering if it's just here in Tears of the Kingdom, or maybe I'll have to come back here at some point. And if I have to come back here, so be it. I've now conquered the shrine. I can now warp back here with ease. But otherwise, let's see what we got. No matter what, I've made progress in this part by doing two light roots in a shrine already, but I'd like to try and pick up the pace if it can be helped. See if I can get some, I don't know, like my 110th shrine and my 51st light root or something. I don't know. Let's explore this little room first. What do we got? So, that's the way I came in, which means this way is the end. All right, I don't, you know what actually I could do, just to kind of verify that there's nothing I'm missing in here, is if I go over to here, and I go, well, no, it's gonna be the Hyrule Compendium, I want to lock it onto treasure chests. That'll tell me if I'm missing anything. Okay, 
So yeah, if I go this way, my radar is not going off. Yeah, and toward the latter parts of this walkthrough, like toward some of the last parts of this walkthrough, I'll probably have my treasure chest radar enabled most of the time. Yeah, finding new objectives. So there is one over here. Let's see what we got. There could be one behind here. Oh, this, this place just keeps on going. Oh, up above, actually. Up above, huh? Okay, well, I can ascend through that. Oh, at least I thought I could. I can ascend through that part. That much is nice. Look, the more I can use ascend and the less climbing I have to do, the better. Aha! Well, yep, yeah, there's definitely just a treasure chest over here. Let's see what's inside here. A gemstone, potentially? Something valuable. Five arrows. I mean, I'll still take it. All right, so finding new objective. Yeah, there's gonna be multiple treasure chests in here. I don't know that I'll need to find every single one, but I wanna find the ones that contain the most significant goodies. Ooh, what is all this? Okay, well, there's not a treasure chest in here. That's for certain. Doesn't even look like there's one beyond this. Ooh, okay, okay. This seems like it'll hold great significance later. That, or this is just a place where I can understand the lore a little better. What happens if I go over here? Ooh, I don't know about all this. I don't, I don't know about all this. Uh, finding new objective. Did you lock onto another treasure chest? I, I'm not certain. Oh, does, does it go this way? There's a whole pathway over here, hang on. What's all this about? I think that's the treasure chest this way. Okay, well. There's all sorts of stuff in here. None of this was in here in Breath of the Wild. Ooh, see, now I'm a little giddy. Like, uh, how far does it go? Is this gonna link all the way back to Hyrule Castle or something? This, this, is, this is pretty crazy. Oh, no, it just brings me back in here. Okay, that's fine. Easy way back up. So that means there's a doorway on the other side. Very cool. Okay, well then, what do you say? We just go ahead and find a treasure chest and then get out of here. Because it doesn't currently seem like there's too much else I can do in here at the moment. I could foresee a side quest bringing me back in here. But for now, if there's nothing else I can do here, then I am simply wasting my time. Oh, there is some sort of treasure chest in this room. Hang on. This way, no. This way, no. Back this way, yes. Is it up? It is up. You want me to go up? If I go up, what's gonna happen? I'll do, I'll do it. I will go up. But you're gonna bring me all the way back out on the surface, aren't you? And that's not really all that convenient for me now, is it? Where are you spinning me out? Oh, just in here. I'm, I'm still back in here. Oh, okay, well, that's cool. That wasn't so bad then. If I climb up here, okay, finding new objective. It's finding too many treasure chests in here. But if there's that many treasure chests in here, then there probably isn't a super rare valuable item for me in here. Like there isn't a, a rare armor part or something. Oh, there's a lizard. I got it, I got the lizard. That is something that I did get. Okay. What else is in here? There's all sorts of goodies in here. Okay, so I got some wild berries. Cool. Yeah, you can go all over the place in here. This, this is like a giant playground as far as I'm concerned. Okay, if I go this way. Okay, keep keep going. Keep going this way. No. Go back this way. Go in here. Yeah, you want me to go in here and then you don't want me to go in here. And it's probably because it's directly above. Okay, you know what then? You know what, forget it. We're going back this way. It's gonna say finding new objective. I'll find a treasure chest over there and then I'm moving on with my life, darn it. Okay, so which way are we going? This way? I can go this way. I'm down for that. Yeah, okay, so that's a weapon. I don't need a rusty halberd. Thank you, though. That is not necessary, though. Okay, and then we'll use some ultra hand to see if I can dig anything up. Still this way? All right, still this way. So I should be able to just ascend straight onto this little, almost like a balcony platform, right? Let's see what we got. Yeah, I could totally see there being a treasure chest up here. Yeah. Oh, do I go too far? This way? Oh, oh, are you saying it's like down where the enemies are or something? I don't understand which way you want me to go. This, right on here? On this? Oh, may maybe it is on this. That's actually not a bad idea. Oh, it's right here. Found it. All right, and what have we got if I kick open this treasure chest, huh? We got a Royal Claymore. Okay, I'll take that. All right, shall we do one more then? I go this way. Is there a treasure chest back over here in this room? Yeah, there are, there are all sorts of treasure chests in here, huh? I think I, I thought I saw something, but maybe, maybe not. Let's see, uh, down potentially? I guess, I guess down, oh yeah, there's stuff over here. It's a Korok seed. Is this a friggin' Korok seed? Did they hide a Korok in here? Yes, they did. Well, that's a nice treasure in and of itself, but I'm really looking for a treasure chest. Thank you. But all right, sure, Korok, whatever. Okay, so I'll set that back down. 
Let's see, so nothing this way. Back over this way, got it. So we're gonna run this way for a little bit. Just running along here, oh, too far. That's too far. Okay, up top then. Hmm. Okay, still back this way, I guess so, okay. On this little balcony platform then, there's probably, I could, oh. Hang on, fill up that stamina, okay. We're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing! And, boop. Just trying to get that part, okay, hang on. Just trying to get over this little blip. Ready? Thank you, just like that. All right, now there probably is a treasure chest along this. Maybe, oh, down below, really? It's down, there's no way it's down below. There's nothing over here. Oh, wait there, but there is! There is something over here, right in here. Ah, oh, I see, I'm glad I had the treasure radar enabled. Oh, just a royal halberd, well. All right, I don't really want any more two-handed weapons, but I guess this one's about to break. So boom, okay, thank you. Wait, what? I can't take that out here, fine, fine. All right, you know what then? I, oh, I really don't need the stick. You know what, that's what I'm getting rid of. Get the heck out of here. All right, I'm getting this treasure chest and then I'm leaving. I was hoping there'd be something a little more valuable in here, but I guess the, these types of treasure chests are here just for people like me that occasionally want to use the treasure radar. All right, for now then, let's go ahead and disable that. Okay, hang on, wait, no. So we're gonna, no, wait, wait, I want, I want that off. Return, if I go to the map, sensor. There we go, Shrine of Light, very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the depths real quickly. I guess the next quick, uh, light route that I could get before this part's over is gonna be this one. So let's go ahead and mark that and let's just go back here real quickly. Let's just let's just get like two more light routes and then be done with this part, huh? And then I'll have a better sense of direction in the next part. I thought it was gonna be harder to get that shrine. I thought it was gonna be harder to take on Master Koga. Now I'm just trying to do a little bit of extra progress in this part because I figure I have a bit of lingering time. I've gotten into the habit of these walkthrough parts being like an hour and a half long and I don't want that to be a normal thing because that's been the case for the past several parts. I, I've just, just, like it just feels weird that a part is, and could end a lot sooner than that without any sort of climactic finale. Like I started this part with the Koga fight and then did a shrine in like half a second. All right, so hang on, where am I looking? I saw, I saw the beacon of light for a second, hang on. I guess it's really down, huh? All right, I guess it's just time for me to glide. I do have, oh, it's, it's down here, okay. Well, great, glad I got the higher up light route first. So we'll knock this out, fill in this part of the map. I'll do one more light route, and then I, I guess we'll just be done. I guess, okay, hang on, I don't, I don't need to drop down that quickly. I can go ahead and get one more gust of wind from Tulin before I arrive. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Navigating over the depths, easy peasy. The sooner I fill in the map for the depths, the better. Boop, here we go. All right, and now we are about to get another light route, just like that. Everything is just going a little too quick, a little too easily in this part, and it's kind of weirding me out. But whatever, the Mui Koro light route, let's do it. All right, the map's coming together. So let's just go ahead and do one more light route real quickly then. Oh, hang on, are those ice keys over off in the distance? Nice. Okay, so we can get rid of this yellow marker now. That's no longer necessary. And then I suppose then the next one to get would be back up here. And then if there's still like a missing piece right here, that, oh, I guess that would, there would be that. Okay, hmm. We'll probably get them both real quickly. Why the heck not, right? We're already exploring things. So I guess I'll make my way toward the green marker first and then I can zigzag my way back up to the yellow marker. That sounds like a pretty good idea if I may say so myself. I might even make myself one of those hot air balloons now that I have so much zonites and so many resources at my disposal, including all this Poe, look at all this. All this Poe. All right, there we go. Okay, so we got electric choo-choo right up ahead. I'll go ahead and take that. That's that good stuff. So that, that goes boom. And then I do want these. 
Okay, yep, there you go. Let's go. Strike him. Yes, everything here is electric. I love it. Give me that, thank you. I want these electric parts. These are valuable. Electric Keith's eyeball, because I know, I know I'm gonna need that stuff to upgrade equipment in the future. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get shocked now. All right, here. You wanna do this? Where you at? Boom, baby. That's how you play with electricity. All right, I'll get this electric Lizalfos real quickly. Actually, make sure I don't have its photo already. Oh, I do have it, okay, cool. Always gotta check. Okay, hang on, I, I, need a, I need a stronger weapon than this. Oh yeah, right, I can finish you off with this, here. Boom, baby. Okay, now what else do I got in here? Oh yeah, I got my Master Sword, Dodoy. Here, we're going, we're swinging. I'll fight you in the gloom, I'm not afraid of this stuff. I know I'm gonna get to a Light Rune in just a moment and we'll be able to restore those hearts. So far though, you're doing more to me than, than Master Koga did. I'll be honest, oh my god. I was afraid I dropped the Master Sword for a second, I was like, <gasps> All right, here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so boom, get in that yellow choo-choo jelly. That's the good stuff. Now I gotta go ahead and eliminate you. Thank you. That's also the good stuff. All right, and last and most certainly not least, there is you. Actually, you might actually be the least. <laughs> All right, boom. All right, now that that's been addressed. Oh, look at that. There's even a little place for me to make a hot air balloon. So maybe that's just exactly what I gotta do in order to more easily navigate the depths. Okay, well then let's hop up here, boop, 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 boop. Okay, and we'll get that ultra hand going. Now, what do I wanna make? It should be in my favorites. Yeah. All right, so let's see what I can make. So, nope, I got everything just for six zonite. Easy peasy. Okay. Now, we'll drag that over here for a moment. Oh yeah, right, let me go ahead and mark this part of the map. So I now know for the future that I can come back here and, I don't know, make more stuff. Although, I don't know if I'm gonna need to come back over here. Like, I'm, I'm using this just to get to the next light route. I don't think I'll, there will be a need for me to come back and do any of this again. But whatever. All right, we're going up. We're going, we're going, and we're gonna try and turn this. And we're gonna go toward the green mark. Okay, and if I need to consume more Zonite stuff, I will. I even see the light route over there, which is awesome. Okay, you know what? I will take a little more charge. There we go. This is the time, right? This is the time for me to use the Zonite charge. So let's go ahead and just like use the last of this up. Let's let it run dry. I should be able to make it from here. I can probably even like jump off this and glide from here. All right, yeah, let's use it up, use it up. There you go. And I'm gliding. Thank you, hot air balloon. You have done me well. Now it's gonna fall on my stamina from here. Oh, there's actually two light roots. I see one down there. Well, let's go ahead and get the one that's higher up first then. And then I can take care of the one that's down there. Oh my God, a Colgara. What is that, what? Uh, Tulin, can you get that gust of wind ready sooner rather than later? That'd be really helpful. Okay, something like pushed me upward. Is that the Colgara? I hear the music. I do hear the music. I'm just trying to get to the light route. I don't, I don't want any problems. This isn't even the light route that I marked. Right, well, hey, these gusts of wind are certainly helping though because it looked like I was gonna have to climb something. Okay, hey, I'm fine with this. Thank you, Colgara. If I turn the lights on, can I actually see what I'm dealing with? Hang on, just a moment. All right, here we are. We made it! We made it to the Narusis light route. Is there a shrine up here that I didn't do that's gonna align with this? Cause then I'll, I'll go do that in, in just a moment. Hang on, hang on a moment. And then there was like another one over here somewhere. Okay, so, uh, I mean, okay, that probably was the green marker then. So hang on, what if instead we take that away and then we go ahead and try to find the shrine that would be up here. And that's what I do on this part. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. I kind of split the difference of the light routes I wanted to go to, but that's fine. I've got other places I can then explore in the future. So let's head back up. And I guess then that the most convenient place for me to go to in order for me to try and find the shrine would actually be the Skyview Tower. 
So let's see, I guess there's just a shrine down here. If I had to guess, the reason I didn't find it is probably because it's in a cave. A lot of the shrines that I've been missing are gonna be in caves. So let's go over here. If it wants me to deliver a crystal and do a shrine quest, you know, it wouldn't be too unlike what I had to do in the previous part, but this time I'll be a little more ready and this time I'll be a little more willing to just use auto build to construct everything in a matter of seconds. So, you know, now that I have this ability, I intend to use it. Oh yeah, it's ice cold over here. But I still have my cold gear on, so I'm actually ready. Okay, and I'm going toward the green mark, right. Okay. Yeah, and this time this time I got a shrine radar, so I'm ready. Like I I like this is as ready as I'm gonna get. I got a shrine radar, and I know the general coordinates of where the shrine would be because I found the light route that corresponds to it. I just need to find the point of entry if it's inside of a cave or something. Oh, there's my shrine radar going off. Yep. Yep. Alright, folks, that settles it. I am doing two shrines in this part after all. And that'll make me feel a whole lot better about the progress that I'm doing. Nice. I probably could still do a another light route or something though. Well, let me see. So I imagine it's gonna be inside of a cave that the cave entrance is gonna be over here or something. That's just kind of the vibe I'm getting. Yeah. Oh, is, is this just it right here? This is something. This is something. All right, you need me to deliver a crystal? I'll friggin' do it. I'm ready. What do we got, huh? Also, didn't I go along this way before? I guess I didn't have a shrine radar over here before, but I thought I walked along the backside here in Tears of the Kingdom to see what I could find. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so, and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. All right, well, it's not inside of a cave, but it does require a crystal. Oh, it's on top of a stone towel. It's interesting. Oh, but there is a cave over here. Okay, hang on. Let's go ahead and get this little guy. Oh, okay. So the best way to hit this thing is to do it in slow motion. There you go. So if I do this... And then I do. Oh. Usually you can hit it a couple times. There you go. I can get the rupees! All right, and then usually it shows me where a cave is. Uh, I think I, oh, it's right here, it's right here. Okay, hang on. So I'm gonna go inside here for a brief moment. What's up? All right, I know this is unrelated to what I should be doing right now, but this, as it stands, this is what I've decided to be doing. Okay, hang on, do I have your photo? I do, okay. All right, you know what? Since this is because you shot me while I was taking a photo. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna blast you all. There you go. All right. All right. So if I take out the big guy first, I'll make the rest of this fight easier. But if I hit multiple enemies in the process, that'll really make the fight a whole lot easier. Woohoo! Oh, I'm out of fairies. Oops. <laughs> I didn't think he was just gonna take one big swing and get me. Well, folks. I guess something else significant happened in this, in this part of the walkthrough. Not only is this the part where I defeated Master Koga and found some more light roots and went into a new temple, this is also the part that features the last game over of the walkthrough. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my rematch. And then I'm gonna go back outside and fight that Frost Talus real quickly. All right, so here we go. I think the strategy remains mostly the same. Do I at least keep, get to keep the rupees that I just got? Okay, we're fine. All right, the strategy, oh, hang on, yeah. So you grab this. All right, the strategy remains the same. Here you go. Boop. There you go. I can still do this. Yeah, I'm gonna just like take you out real quick. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and sound the horn. I'm pretty sure everyone knows I'm here though. All right, so hang on. I'm gonna go ahead and use shock fruit on you. There you go. Break the bow, break that bow. And now we're gonna switch over to, just a dragon bone boko bow then. Until I fight more Lynels or something and get more stuff that way. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now now I know better that I have to back off. And I'll get you with another shock fruit. I just got a bunch of these down from the depth, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them to good use. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. There we go, Flurry Rush, yeah! These aren't just for Lynels, they're for you too. And I even used it the last time I Master Sword on you, so I hope you feel honored. All right. What else do I got that's got some power to it? Oh yeah, my Black Boko Reaper, I do have that. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and, okay. Grab a couple of these, I suppose. Okay, and then more arrows, excellent. And I'll go ahead and hit you with an ice fruit. I got a bunch of them, I guess. Oh, I missed though, I missed, darn it. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up then. Oh, okay, I guess I can just like wail on you and that'll do enough damage. Boom, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So I'll go ahead and grab all of these. Thank you, and I got Bacoblin Guts, awesome. That's really awesome, and a hearty truffle. That's especially awesome. <gasps> and a rare ore deposit, ooh. Ooh, that's so good, I'm so glad I came in here. All right, let's see, I need something. 
Oh, I, I guess I finally like destroyed all my stuff that would smash this open, huh? Can I just get it with the Royal Claymore? Let me see. I just like spin this around enough times. I can. <gasps> a diamond and a topaz? Wow, that's really lucky. Okay, so let's see. I gotta go ahead and find the little monster that's inside here. Oh wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I smashed this one open too. Lots of rare ore deposits in here. Okay, this is, the, this is the place to go. Okay, that one just had amber, but that's fine. Oh, and a ruby, and a ruby, okay. That's good. I was gonna say, even, like the last one just gave me, uh, I just got a diamond from it, so I shouldn't complain about anything ever again, right? Okay, so if I go through here, what's gonna happen? All right, let's see, bright bloom seeds, good, good, good. Oh, there it is, there's the little monster I wanted. Thank you. Now, if there happens to be a shrine or something else in here, I'll have to get it a different day. For now, I'm just here for the bubble gem. I guess I could still go up and grab a couple more bright bloom seeds or something. Maybe there's a treasure chest in here. I don't know. I mean, I died coming in here. There's gotta be something else in here, right? It probably does just take me back. Like, I was probably meant to come in from the other way. There probably is another entry point on the opposite side or something. I think that is the case. Well, and then just because I always gotta double check. I got your photo, yeah? Yep, just a regular old horriblin. Okay, well, I'll take you down. Okay, that was a little too easy, I gotta say. Okay, if I put this down. Okay, so th why is there wind blowing this way? Just to tell me to go this way? Because, I mean, that that's easy enough. I, I can just go this way willy-nilly. Here. Boom. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do a spin attack. I'm gonna do it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Okay, but I do want the horrible parts, though. Those are a little trickier to come by, so I want to make sure I grab these before I leave. All right, back up then. All right. Well, I guess I can ascend through this and... Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to go through the cave. Back down, back down, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted just that, just that. Oh, okay, I guess I still gotta go through a little cutscene for it. There you go. We can grab this, we can grab the meat. Okay, we can grab that little giant bright bloom seed, I guess. And there's a treasure chest up here. See, if I had my treasure radar enabled, I would have. it would have brought me to here, probably. But I just know from fighting horribleness, they usually have these little platforms that they're on that have treasures and goodies on it anyway. All right, so there we go, boom. And I can go ahead and grab all this now. Good, good, good. And what's inside the treasure chest then, huh? What do we got? This is a soldier spear stick, which, I don't know, it's probably more useful than something else I got. Uh, all right, look, I know the halberd's more powerful. Totally get it. And I know that this could be more powerful. Totally get it. But just, you know what, I'll drop the boomerang. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. You can only sort by type. Why did it sort it like this? All right, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't want the Traveler's Spear. We're good. Okay, we're gonna keep going against the stream then. For all I know, there's a treasure chest in here or something. Or th th there's another shrine in here or something. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna climb. Good, good, good. But I am kind of hoping that it's just another entrance. Oh, it, it keeps going up. This all keeps going. Okay. So that, that is another entrance over here, right? This is not the way I came in. This is actually back over by the Skyview Tower. Got it. So this is another entrance. Understood. So what happens if I keep taking the little air current upward then, huh? What's at the top? Because now we know it's at the bottom. Are there more rare ore deposits up here or something? Doesn't seem like it. All right, this is just another way down. And let's go ahead and glide on out. Let's go ahead and go back out the way I came in. Oh, hey, what do you know? There is a treasure chest up here. No, Julian, get me to it. Thank you. All right, what's inside this treasure chest then? Because it was a little trickier to access. Feathered Edge. Yeah, all these two-handed weapons, which I'm not super fond of, but I guess I don't need two Royal Claymores. So be it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna drop. We're gonna go. Woo! Okay. Now we're gonna go this way. Great. We're good. All right, and then back out this way. Well, at least at the very bottom of this were the rare ore deposits. And, so that, and that kind of better explains why there were even rare ore deposits here in the first place, because technically this should be the end of the cave. Now then, there is the matter of this frost talus, which I could very easily eliminate. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a fiery weapon out because fire will destroy this ice beast. And vice versa, use an icy weapon to take on an igneo talus, which I will do a little later. I've done so already in this walkthrough, but I imagine I'll have to do some more later. Okay. So usually you just swing this once or twice and it kind of melts the ice off. It's supposed to. There we go. And now I can safely climb this beast without fear of get- Oh, hey, 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 hey. Okay, fine. The other option then, if you don't have a fiery weapon, is just to use a fire fruit or red choo-choo jelly. There you go. 
All right, so that should knock it over. Okay. Darn it. Okay, come on. There you go, that's the arm. Okay, so now I should be able to climb up here and just start wailing on this thing. There you go. Look, I, do, I wouldn't have to destroy you if you just like would let me take the crystal away from you, but eliminating you will also allow me to get beneficial items to make my stuff stronger. Oh, that's right. And I don't have a fairy on me. Okay, well first off, let me back off and see if I have a picture of a frost talus. So I don't, now I will. That's one less photo I have to buy from Robbie. Cool. Now, before I get smacked with that, let's consume more food. Boom, baby. All right. Let's just, let's just go ahead and like be done with this fight. Let's not waste any time. Okay, so now. Okay, hang on, there you go, yep. Still up, still up. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna use it the last of my Fire Breath Lysol Blade then, so be it, boom. Okay, next up. My Master Sword's still recovering, right? But I've got a blue Lysol Blade. I've got all the Lysol Blades that I'm gonna need. I'm just out of fire weaponry, but I can always use my Ruby Rod, or I can just flat out use Red Choo Choo Jelly or something. All right, let's just go, let's just go. Boom, nice. I'm okay, I'm okay. See, not not even worried. Easy peasy. All right, there we go. Okay, yeah, 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 I know, I know. Boom, good hit, that should knock you over. Excellent, and now we're going back up. All right, so we can do boom, boom, and we can do boom, boop, ta-da, all set. All right, so you'll drop a couple other goodies that will probably be useful to me, including gemstones, oh baby. All right, and then for that, I'll fuse that to, I guess I'll fuse it to the halberd. There you go, so I'll fuse, boom baby. That'll give me some power. Oh, hang on, and an opal, make sure we get those. Okay, so now we just carry this. we we'll just carry this over. I, I guess I don't have to use ultra hand, I can just like carry this with my own two hands, right? Here we go then, let's do it this way. This way it actually feels like I'm delivering a package. I carry everything else with Ultra Hand in this game. May as well use my own two hands. Although, it probably would be freezing my hands. I've got like fingerless gloves on, but this is probably destroying my fingers. I'm just saying. Anyway, because I had to do a shrine quest to do this and take out a frost talus or something, there probably is not a puzzle for me to solve inside of the shrine. So, I would like to go back to the depths real quickly, see if I can do one more light route, and then potentially just end the part there. So there we go. You who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Excellent. Hey, if I go inside this shrine and it's just a blessing shrine and you want to give me a diamond inside of the treasure chest that's within it, you won't see me complaining. The more gemstones I get, the better. Because once I finally do upgrade all my equipment that requires all the gemstones, then I can just like sell them and get all the rupees I'm ever going to need. Or, you know, I can actually fuse them to my own weapons and get elemental powers because they gave Sapphire the power of ice and Ruby the power of fire. But all right. I'm set, I'm good. I'm, I'm ready to go inside this and I'm gonna get the treasure chest and be on my way. There you go. Another light route that directed me to another shrine. Nice that this one wasn't in a cave, at least directed me to a cave that I could knock out real quickly. Otherwise, let's see what this shrine is all about. And then I can use this as a convenient warping point, I suppose. Although I think going forward, I probably am just gonna use the sky view tower up top. There's not really much of a reason for me to come down here. All right, and we are at the Blessing Shrine. Thank you, thank you. All right, the Sisuron Shrine, of course, of course. So I'll take this, thank you, thank you. And what's inside here? Sapphire, great, it's a gemstone. I'll take it, fitting for the location it's in. Sapphire is the gemstone associated with ice in this game and I'm in an icy location. And then Opal would be the water one, but Opal, I mean the water would be more of Zora's domain. Still, I'll take it, thank you. All right, Light of Blessing. So I wound up doing two shrines in this part, folks. Two shrines. It's my 110th shrine, 110. And there's only like 130 or something in this game, right? So not that many more to go. Now, you know, if I do two shrines per part, I'll be done with the remaining shrines in 10 parts. It's crazy to think about that. I could, I could be done with all the shrines by like part 90. It might be more fitting to be done with all of them by part 100 though, we'll see. For now, all right, so that shrine, donezo. Now, as for the light roots, I would like to go ahead and see if I could potentially get this one real quickly. So we'll go ahead and put the yellow mark there. We'll return to the depths, we'll get the light roots, and then I think that will be an appropriate place to conclude this part. And if warping over to 
The light route that I'm warping to now proves to be inconvenient. Thankfully, I have that other light route that's by the labyrinth that I could warp to instead, and I could probably work my way to the left. I just want to fill in this part of the map. I, I, I just want to do it. And then we'll decide what I'm going to do in the next part. If it's just going to be more light route shrine locating, or if I'm going to go somewhere and have, actually have more of an objective. Let's see. So for now, let's wander around the, let's like hug this wall here, right? Let's wander around this. Oh, I've, I've like, this seems a little familiar. That's why that little Caldera fight was going on. Cause I have your picture. Yeah, I got its picture. But today will not be the day I fight you. Not in this part. Maybe in the next part, maybe, maybe. Probably not realistically, but I will fight you one of these days. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to. If not solely because I wanna gather the parts that you would drop from being eliminated. Hang on, wait. Do I have a picture? I do, I have a picture of a stout moblin, okay. Yeah, I, I, that's the main thing. These days, I just wanna fight a bunch of these creatures just so I can reap the rewards of what you drop and use them to upgrade my equipment. <laughs> that's really all it boils down to. And then if it doesn't upgrade any equipment, then I'll use it to upgrade, or I'll, I'll sell it so I can get rupees. So I can use, so I can actually pay to have my equipment upgraded. That's the whole thing. Anyway, we're almost done. So I'm already gonna get to the green marker, which is awesome. So we can go ahead and get rid of this. And then from here, I really can just make my way toward the yellow marker, right? I get the vibe that I am up on higher terrain, although I'll definitely be up on higher terrain once I, oh, hang on, I'm going. You know, I upgraded my tunic of the depths and everything and I'm not even wearing it. I guess I can put it on now. Probably not gonna go back to the surface for the remainder of this part. Okay, and we can do boop, plenty of defense now. And I got some gloom resistance, or at least some additional gloom resistance. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Yes, 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 yes. All right, and we are running right along. The longer I can stay on higher terrain, the easier it'll be for me to navigate the depths. Although I guess it's time for me to be gliding, because gliding will still be the fastest way around. As long as I stay on this higher part, I don't want to drop down and then engage in a fight with that Colgara thing. Okay, so now what I can do, I can throw a giant bright bloom seed there-ish. And we're just gonna run straight through all this gloom, just straight on through it. Ah, using up all that stamina, very good. Very good. Okay, and up oh, there it goes. Okay, I'll restore those hearts in a moment. Once I get to this light route, we'll be good to go. Easy peasy. Right, and I don't see another light route along the way. I shouldn't, because most of the map was already decently filled in. All right, we're just gonna run through the gloom again. I'm gonna use up all that stamina, and I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I have so many hearts that getting them corrupted really isn't that big of a deal. All right, once more. All right, and now we're gonna continue going toward the yellow mark. I kind of look cool when I'm getting corrupted, though, don't I? I got this nice, like, almost like, a, like I'm set on fire. Doesn't it look cool? It's like I'm radiating all this dark energy. It's pretty sweet. All right, anyway. Let's go ahead and get a regular Bright Bloom Seed launched up ahead. There we go. Oh, oh hey, a blue white frog. Hey, I needed one of you. There you go. Let's get, you know what? I'll fight you real quickly. Shame that your eye was closed, but whatever. It's one less photo that I have to purchase from Robbie. All right, hang on a second. So I'm, I'm just gonna do this right out the gate. Boom. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Boom, right there. Oh, me just smacking into your mouth kind of hurt, huh? Okay, wait for that to go off. All right, now I'm gonna consume some food because that kinda, that kinda messed me up. So, what can I consume? I definitely just have, yeah. Faster movement, that's probably a good idea, actually. And then, I think for, for this next part, because I only need a couple more hearts, I'm just gonna eat the meat raw. There we go. All right, so move that speed, here we go. Let me up, let me, hey! Get, why is it not? Oh my God, that's such a time sink. There you go. All right, well, I can at least wail on this. Guess I'm fighting a blue-white frox before this part ends, huh? But I needed to do that anyway. Okay, I'll take the zonite. Boop. Woohoo! Okay, let's get out of the gloom, huh? I guess I'm glad I upgraded this equipment because the defense boost will really do me well. All right, and now that I have the speed up, if you try inhaling me again, I should be able to outspeed the inhale. Let's go. Or that, I can dodge that as well. Oh, wow, okay, you are, you are coming. One more, roll of threes. How about that? Right in the eye. Got him, okay. Up up and at him then. Here we go. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get, I guess that one, that's not the one I was trying to lock onto, but that's the one it locked onto, darn it. Boom, lots of damage, lots of damage. Did I get it? Cool. All right, we're, he's gonna like fling me off or something. There we go, woo! All right, now I can try and get you like this, right? All right, and now I can hop right back on your back and continue from where I left off. Let's go ahead and get this one. There you go, yeah, that, 
Frost Talus Chunk is really putting in the work, huh? I'll use up the last of it on you. Okay. Okay. Just kind of hope I can get flung back into the air and rinse and repeat that process over and over again, but that is okay. All right, I got my Black Boko Reaper. We're good. Okay, hit him in the eye once more. At least I'm still flying through this. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all these parts, baby. All right, and now we need... Boom, boom, boom. We're going. Oh, this isn't doing nearly as much damage as that Frost Talus piece was, though. I'm gonna stay on it. Okay, I got it. Got the flint. Okay, are you facing toward me? Turn on around, please, and then we can do this. Boom. There we go. All right, and the last one, I think that's the last one. It's just right here on your, on your little, like, tail here. So be it. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Almost there. I can get it. I can get it. I can get it. Boom, baby. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Ah, my first blue-white frog. This really is a significant part, isn't it? Fighting all sorts of different enemies. There you go, and a blue-white frog's fang. Awesome, and some frog's guts. Yeah, I'm getting everything I need. Got the frog's guts and the blue-white frog's fang. I needed both of those. And that's, I guess that's the light route right there. That will be perfect. So I'll access this, and then I think I'll finally feel comfortable concluding this part. Let's see, can I shield surf my way through that? No, okay, then I'm just gonna have to embrace the gloom for a quick moment in here. If we wanna do this, where are those key side balls that I've been getting? There you go. You guys wanna do this? Here you go. Okay, I'll grab that real quick. And boom, get them both. Okay, fire keys, fire keys. All right, now then. I still need to go toward the yellow mark. Oh, yep, I guess I'm running up a little, little tree. All right, I mustn't be careless. I am using up a lot of my hearts and they are getting corrupted because of all the gloom. So I'm gonna grab these pose, I'm gonna get the light roots, and then I will be done. Just getting, just, just doing a little bit of extra work here, you understand. Okay, oh, I guess I'm climbing this now. That's not, that's not what I wanted. I'm just trying to go in here. I'll grab a muddle bud, sure. All right, and soon, soon, this part of the depths shall be well lit and ready to go. What do we got? This is, ba -ba -da -ba, the Unazoso light root. Whatever it's called, I'm lighting it up! That part of the map is now filled in, and with 110 shrines conquered, and 50 plus light roots located, and Master Koga slain, I think I am now comfortable concluding this part of the walkthrough. So, we'll see what I wanna do next. The next part might just be more shrines and light root locating, or I might go back to like Kakariko Village or Lookout Landing or something and get some sense of direction from there. But as far as this part is concerned, I can go ahead and remove this yellow marker. And we ought to, if it'll let me. There we go. Now I'm ready to end this part. So that wraps up this part of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, the best ways to support me are to click on the like button down below, and if you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. Viewer engagement helps my videos perform better, so anything helps. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun gameplay videos. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh!